Hey, what's up? I'm Sabrina Black with Pacific Source. Today, my little dog mom heart is so excited to share with you five ways pets enhance our lives. In fact, I have my pup Libby here in the kitchen with me today. So if you hear any weird noises, it's probably just her gnawing on her toy and it's totally fine. After that, I'll share a dog biscuit recipe for treats your pup is sure to love. For many of us, our pets aren't just pets, they're family members. And for all the value they provide in our lives, homemade treats can be a great way to show your love and appreciation. So let's kick things off with five ways pets enhance our lives. First, having a pet can be good for your mental health. Pets can help us reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. Interacting with your pets is a great way to quickly boost your mood thanks to the effect on your body's hormones. Simply having a pet around decreases the stress hormone cortisol and increases dopamine and serotonin, which are those happy and calming hormones we could all use a little more of. Second, pets can help you be more active. Like people, animals need movement and exercise to stay healthy. Taking my dog for walks and hikes is one of my favorite ways to get moving because I'm creating great memories and quality time with my pup. Third, Pets can inspire play and joy in our lives. Their quirkiness and unique personalities create so many opportunities to play and laugh every day. Need proof? Take some time to just observe your pet while you engage with them. If you don't have a pet, don't worry. There's no shortage of funny pet videos online. Fourth, pets are great companions. Companionship is a critical part of our overall well-being and can help prevent illness. Our pets can reduce loneliness and isolation in our lives while also giving us a sense of purpose. Lastly, pets can help us create healthy routines. Our pets rely on us to support them and their daily needs and being responsible for their well-being creates a need for consistent schedules. Routines in general can help us reduce stress and feelings of anxiety by providing structure in our day to day. These are just a few examples of the benefits of having a pet. Now let's get into today's recipe, peanut butter dog biscuits. For this recipe, you'll need two and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of natural creamy peanut butter, one cup of water, two tablespoons of honey, and one egg. Remember to choose fun cookie cutters. I chose this little dog biscuit because it's small. I like to give Libby lots of treats, and this helps me to not overdo it. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and line your pan with parchment paper. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got my large mixing bowl, and I'm going to first put in my flour. I've got this pre-measured for two and a half cups. And then we are going to do one teaspoon of the baking powder. And then we're gonna do one egg. Try not to get any shells in there. Anytime I can do that, it's a big plus. All right, so we've got those. Next, we're gonna move on and we are going to add the peanut butter. And I'm gonna get as much out of here as I can, although anything left over is gonna be a good treat for Libby. She loves peanut butter and she will be real happy with any leftovers in this bowl. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add the honey. I've sprayed my tablespoon with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray so that it doesn't stick to my tablespoon here. So we're gonna do two of these. handiest little trick ever that I'm going to use all the time because I'm so used to my honey getting stuck in this thing. All right, so I've got my two tablespoons of honey. And then last, I'm gonna add my cup of water. And I love that I have this great big mixing bowl because I have a tendency to make a mess. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and mix it all together. Be sure to get the sides and the bottom really well. And then once it starts getting a little bit more doughy and not quite so liquidy, 
I'm probably just gonna dig in with my hands to finish it up just because it's easier. Make sure to wash your hands before you do that. Yes, these are for your pups, but they'll still appreciate that. If I really wanted to be thorough, I would probably come and scrape the sides with that spatula, but that's Libby's treat. And if you're not sure when to go ahead and dig in with your hands, the best time is when you're frustrated using the spoon and you just want to be done with it. So I'm going to scrape off what's left on there. And I'm just going to finish kneading it all together. And while pets are good for our mental health, sometimes just doing stuff like this can be really good for your mental health too. It's, it's got a, a weird therapeutic effect to it, but maybe that's just me. Okay. And so that I don't have to deal with re-rolling a lot and having a lot of remnants and everything I have found, that sectioning it off into about four pieces can be really helpful. So I'm just gonna take these three pieces and set them aside. So I'm just about ready to roll this out, but before I do that, I do want to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on my cutting board so that it doesn't stick quite so bad. It'll still probably stick a little bit. You can always put a little bit of the, the flour on your rolling pin if you would like. So now I'm just gonna roll this out until it's about a half inch thick. See, and like I said, it likes to stick, but I'm just gonna roll with it, pun intended. You're welcome. There's your dad joke for the day. And that's pretty good right there. So now that I have this rolled out, I'm going to take my little cookie cutter, my little dog bone cookie cutter, and I am just going to start making my cutouts. My cookie cutters came with this handy little tool so that if the, the dough gets stuck in the cookie cutter, I can gently nudge it out. And I'll be honest, by the time I get to the end of all the dough with all of this, I typically go for the bigger cookie cutters because I'm ready to be done cutting out the biscuits. And if you have fun little tips for how to not get your cutouts stuck in your cookie cutter, drop them in the comments for us. Okay, and once you've gotten all you think you can get out of that roll, you'll move what you've got out of the way. So I'm just gonna take what I have here, pop it onto my cookie sheet and get that in the oven and make sure that Libby gets her treats here soon because she's being very good right now we don't know how long that's gonna last. So let's go ahead and get these biscuits in the oven. Now that I have these all laid out, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the pan in the oven. And because these are small, I'll go ahead and have them cook for about 16 to 17 minutes instead of 20. The smaller ones don't need as much time. Once they've cooled, remember to let your pup taste test before you store them. Store the remaining treats in an airtight container. They'll last about two to three weeks if they actually last that long. With Libby, that can be a little bit questionable. If you wanna make bigger batches, these will keep in the freezer for a few months. I know, I know. To wrap up, here's a quick recap of five ways pets enhance our lives. One, having a pet can be good for your mental health. Two, 
pets can help you be more active. Three, pets can inspire play and joy in our lives. Four, pets are great companions. And five, pets can help us create healthy routines. How do your pets enhance your life? Let us know in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos from Pacific Source in the Kitchen. On behalf of Pacific Source, thanks for joining me and Libby in the kitchen today, and be well.